to do a pour on a 20 by 20 canvas and these are the colors I'm going to be using got here I can't say the name of that cyclo something around blue oh, okay phthalo psych blue the cortex and we've got um, Deco Art Bahama Blue. These are all acrylic paint. Artist Loft Metallic White. Craft Smart Pure White Pearl. Deco Art Peacock Pearl. All in the blue family. Deco Art Metallic Ice Blue. And that's the same thing. Okay, in case I run out of it. So I'm going to make them up in these little cups, all the colors. And then I'm going to add the Floatrel or Flood, whatever you want to call it. Flood about three to one. And check out the consistency. The canvas will be at 20 by 20 canvas, and I'll see you back okay, in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to begin the pour now. I've got all the paints mixed up, and um, time to begin. I'm going to use a beaker cup, because I'm going to do a tree ring pour. So, here we go. So I've got my colors lined up here. I'm going to put a cushion down in the center and it's going to get this little shake. It's, it hasn't been sitting here long, but just give it a little shake. So this is a house paint mixed with Floatrel. It's a pretty big canvas. It's a 20 by 20. So I'm going to probably need this whole thing. Sometimes it's nice to have the size made up already that you need for a canvas this size. I use a lot of white, not only for cushions, but also for um, adding it to the, the artwork. So I made a big gallon of this up of house paint and flow trail. I don't know if you saw that well, but I'll show it to you later. So now we're going to just tilt this. Tilt it around. I'm not letting it go off the edges yet until it reaches just out of all the corners. And this looks like the right amount. So now I can let it start going off. Sides. I am in. I am in a um, washer basin instead of a box today. Something you put under your washing machine. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's covered with freezer wrap, and it really saves a lot of mess. Okay, we've got almost all our sides covered. Just going to get rid of this lump on this side. There we go. Looks good. You could also um, use a spatula to spread it out. But I think it comes out the smoothest when you just let it run over the sides. 
Some people catch the extra paint in little cups here and there. But this is just the cheap house paint with a lot of flow trails, so I just want to make sure all my sides are covered, all my corners are covered before I begin. So I'm going to get my beaker cup and I'm going to put on different gloves. So we're going to do a tree ring pour, just putting on some new gloves. Took my rings off, took, should have taken the watch off. <laughs> it always gets paint on it. I'm definitely wearing an apron and I definitely wear gloves. I don't like my hands full of paint. Some people don't mind it, but I do. So I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to start with, with, with a tree ring pour, what you put in, what you put in here first is going to be the middle of the tree ring pour. So I like my tree ring pour with a bright center. So I'm going to put some down the center, some of the pearl white. I'm going to put some of the, the, the bamboo, the, the hama blue I think it was, and some of the metallic blue. I'm not worried about that. That's going to get covered. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the other white, the iridescent white. Careful not to put too much white. You can take over quite a good dose of the peacock. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this right after that. Then I'm going to put the a difficult name blue. Okay. And I think I'll put a little bit of the pearlescent in there. So I think I'll probably use all my paint for this size canvas. There's that beautiful peacock. And in between the Bahama, I think I'm going to put some of the deeper blue. You want your paint consistency to be about the same. And I'm doing it in layers for the peacock, for the tree ring pour. There's the peacock again. The Bahama. Probably this is enough paint. The metallic. The metallic. Fantastic. That's probably enough paint. Just a little bit more white. Okay, so now we're going to do the colors. Look really gorgeous. Right into the middle. A very tiny swirling motion is what makes the peacock pour. I mean, not peacock pour, tree ring pour. Just a swirling motion. Keep it steadily coming out, out, out. That white should be the last thing that hits the center because it's the first thing I put in. Here it comes. Still have that nice white center that I wanted. Hopefully I'll get some nice cloud cells because of the pearl white. Maybe a little too much white. Okay. So I'm just going to let it start making cells for a few minutes. And it's starting to make some nice cells. It's going to be predominantly a blue turquoise, darker blue type of pour. And I've just got a bug in there. <laughs> the bugs love the paint. 
just going to give it a little torch to get it activating a little bit more. Make sure there's no bubbles in there either. Wow. I think this is the right amount of paint. Because as I tilt it, that's going to grow. It's going to spread out. I just hope the white in the center was not too much. I could always put another small cup like that and do an open cup in the middle if it's too much. I'm known for changing things. Okay. It's, it's making cells. So I'm going to start tilting it slowly. Slowly. And actually moving the paint helps it make cells also. So I'm swirling it around. I did put silicone in the uh, paint, a couple of drops in each one. I'm not sure I'm crazy about the center. I'm letting it go out a little bit more to the edges. And that white is taking over. going over yet. So I'm pretty much, there's a lot of paint on here, so some of it's going to have to tip off. I do like the turquoise. I'm afraid I'm going to lose quite a bit of the blue, the dark blue. I might have to do a open cup in the middle. If I lose too much of that, that blue. Okay, let it come back so I don't lose too much. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so I can get this um, Corner. It's making a lot of white here. I'm not sure why. That might be from the I'm just letting it rest a few minutes. It's gonna bring up cells. And I'm gonna turn it. Getting a lot of pearl. Pearl, pearl cells on the edges. Probably from the um, either the iridescent white or the. Okay, let's get that end off. covered now. Let's bring it back. Let that stretch. Honestly, I'm not crazy about this. So you know me. If I'm not thrilled with something, I am going to do something to it. The question is what? I do like some of what's happening in here. I would have liked the, strong, the blue to be stronger, much stronger. The turquoise took over quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna have this go off the side here. Compositionally, I just like that a little better. A lot of pearly white ones coming 
up in here, which I'm not crazy about. So I think that I'm going to, while it's wet, do an open cup into it. This was a tree ring pour, but it looks a lot like actually a open cup pour. So I have a lot of paint left. So I'm gonna plop one of these in here. And I'm gonna put some of the dark. I wanted more of the dark. Whoa, it's moving, it's moving. I'm gonna stay away from the, whoa. I'm gonna stay away from the, um, turquoise because there's a lot of turquoise but I will use the darker turquoise uh-huh see what's happening that's what's wonderful about um, open cup pours and I want more of the dark and just a pinch of white to maybe get some Cloud cells. I'm just going to let that move around a little bit. There's a lot of paint on there. A lot of paint on there. A lot of paint on there. Experiment time. Now I'm definitely going to have more blue now. I can see that. Pushing some of that turquoise out of the way. I don't want to lose all of it. Whoa, whoa. I really am liking that. Wow, that is much more interesting. So let's let it make its cells. It's 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 like a um, vortex, and I'm I'm getting the contrast with the darker color, which I like. It's still making tons of these. The in, this is getting interesting. Very interesting. Breaking up a little bit of that. Not sure if that was a good idea. Sometimes when you fiddle, you, it can get really dangerous. I want to make, I love the lacing that's happening in here, but there has to be a little bit more um, paint that has to go up the side. So I'm going to just. Um, Move it a little bit more, like this. It's pretty cool. I don't want to lose everything that's on the sides. It's pretty cool. And I don't want to lose all of that turquoise. I wouldn't mind losing some of that crazy white. So I'm going to let that go off. Whoa, whoa, I like how that, that grew up there. And I love this, I don't wanna lose that. I'm gonna turn this. This is getting quite interesting. Much better than it was, <coughs> excuse me. Much better than it was, I don't wanna lose this. And I'm loving the lacing. I do wanna get rid of this tip. So I'm going to just let it head that way, but not let it go off entirely. There 
is a lot of paint on this. Ooh, I'm loving the lacing. This is definitely much more interesting. Right now I'm looking at composition and hoping that some of the um, cells, so I am going to um, torch it. I do like the darker, this darker center now. But I'd like something more in here. A little bit more um, lightness probably in there. There isn't a lot of paint on this. I've got to figure out if, where to tip some off. And that's scary because I don't want to lose this. I really don't want to lose this. And I don't want to lose this. I'd love this to grow a little bit more. And you say, well, why don't you just leave it alone? Well, there's a lot of paint on here, but I am gonna I am gonna do this a little bit to promote some cells happening in the center. I think, yeah, it's stimulating. And it's also making some of that, the swirling is making some of that grow a little bit. Uh -huh. Wow, that is gorgeous. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to leave this alone. Even though there's a lot of paint on it. Because I really don't want to lose that. I really don't want to lose that. I like the composition. I'm going to take you down and let you see what it looks like. I'm going to put some, um, I'd like that to grow a little bit more. This is a pondering time. This is where you ponder. Let this grow here a little bit. Let it come back. It is a lot of paint in the center. That could be a big problem. But I really love this. Really love this. I don't want to lose that. I really don't want to lose that. I'm afraid I would lose it if I let that come off. So we take a chance. I'm going to take a chance and just see what happens. Just let it dry. Might crack. Might take days and days and days to dry but I really love it like that now I could fool around with some skewer and make some of this come out but it's um it's pretty cool just the way it is okay I like what's happening in here I'm going to take the gloves off and use some of the gun the torch to wow I really love this these guys, I don't want more of these. But I would like more of this lacing to come up, so. Oh yeah, there's something coming up in here now. Underneath that is the um, turquoise, so it's, it's bringing some of that up. And we're gonna get some rid of some bubbles. But I do like the lacing that's expanding the breeze in here so my flame is a little bit erratic beautiful day whoa I like what's happening in there oh warm it up warm it up we warm the paint up and it pushes the silicones pushing the paint out of the way but you could have an oily film on top if I put too much silicone let's see beautiful color I've got a blue thing going that I'm working on a suite of several blue paintings people down here love blue go along the edges when I get my glove back on and clean up the edges I 
That's that part I don't want to lose. This part here I don't want to lose. It's kind of like a vortex and a swirly type of thing. And I'm and I'm glad I added the extra blue because there's that beautiful lacing I like. I like this corner up here too. So that's it for now. And uh, we'll see how she dries. Let's hope that it doesn't crack. I might have to tip some more off while it's still wet. We'll see. Okay, Bye for I now. I did take a stick and a skinny stick and a skewer and just ran a few little, uh, ran the green into the blue a little here and there, just in a few places. And the see these little that. lines in here? And now I'm using a thicker one to just bring that in there a little bit thicker because it'll create it'll create cells that way too just to make that a little more interesting and you want to keep it see it's making cells because you're pulling the paints almost like a swipe so I'm wiping that off that color and I'm going to try to get this a little stronger in here too by swiping in there a little bit. Basically, I'm swiping with the stick. Just stirring up that paint. That paint is very thick in there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to have to pull some of that off. Look at the cool cells that made. That's really cool. I'm gonna wipe that off. And I, I think I want some of that to happen in here too, with the thicker brush. The other one was made with a thinner. So the thicker is gonna make, use thick and thin. This way everything isn't the same. That looks pretty cool. I'm just not sure how it's gonna dry because it's the paint is so on there so thick. That's what I'm not sure of, how it's gonna dry. I think I could like a little bit thick, thicker one up in here too. Yeah, okay. I'll close up a little bit. And I'm going to hit it with the gun and it'll force it to make some cool stuff. Some chain cells there. Oh, yeah, that, that's really pretty. I like that. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with this now. I think I'm going to just leave it alone. Leave it alone and just clean off the edges. You could do it with a stick too. You don't have to put gloves on. You just clean, clean the gunk off so you get a nice, smooth, clean. Some people tape the bottom, but I just wipe it off. Wipe it off a few times a few times while it's drying before it, it can't do that anymore. Now I'll stick this in and make sure I get that corner. Oh, I missed a corner here. So go around and make sure that you have all your corners done. Okay, there's nothing white it's, it's there. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this. I think this will really go good with the painting. I'm going to use it as a sweet with, and I'll show you the painting I'm going to use it with. So I'm going to use it with this painting here. So this does have, as you can see, a lot of turquoise white in it. So I think those, that'll be, it'll be a good sweet with that. 